when I was uh, younger, and still now, I'm still young anyway, I did have sex with a lot of girls. But it, uh, it's something that I used to do a lot. I, I like it, I'm not going to lie. No, do you know what? It's, uh, I enjoy it. There was, there was, I reckon, I don't know, it's got to be about 800 to 1,000, I reckon. But that was, yeah, that's, that's bad, isn't it, when you say it like that. But that's 800 to 1,000 lucky girls as well. You know, so if you say it that, it doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, I found out Amy, uh, Amy Charles was, was seeing someone. It, was, it, it killed me, to be honest, because was, she was my sort of like childhood sweetheart. Uh, we started TOWIE together, we were dating on TOWIE, so it was like, it proper built up, you know, like our relationship. It made it stronger doing it on TV, because we was in the press every day. And then uh, she was keeping it secret. She was like, oh, let's not tell anyone that we're, with, we're an item and stuff like that. So that was going on for months, and I was like, oh, this ain't going on here. And then I actually said to her, Amy, like, I give her like, an ultimatum. We either say that we're, a, or we're an item now and let everyone know, or, like, or, or we don't, you know, and end it. And she's like, no, 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 I want to carry on seeing you. And then I went round there in the morning to drop her birthday present off. And she wouldn't open the door, her dad did. And I give her dad all her presents. And then literally the time I got in my car, she texted me and was like, I want to be single. That night I found out that someone from another TV programme was round the house, but they'd been seen with each other a few weeks before. But it, it broke my heart, you know, and obviously I hated it, but everyone makes mistakes, you know, at least. It, I felt less bad that she stayed with a guy. If she just was seeing someone else and then split up with me and then didn't end up seeing him, it would have been all right, but she stayed with him, so she left me for a reason, if you know what I mean. It's just because she likes him, but... Yeah, I, I sh I'll get back with her in a heartbeat if she asks me to. See, me and Lauren Pope, I feel bad, like bad. I think I split up with her two, three times, and one was on TV, which... But when I got with Lauren, the one thing she ever asked me to do is not split up with her on, on TV. And I promised her that. Like, I promised. I said, you know what, I won't. But then when you're doing TOWIE, you have to put your life on TV. Because where that would have been, me and Lauren splitting up would have been a big thing. If the next day me and Lauren ain't with each other and they didn't get it on TOWIE, it, it missed a big chapter of our life, which make, it'll make the show look fake. So they said, to, like, you've got to do it, Kirk. And I was like, no, no. So I was going to quickly text her. They took my phone off her and said, Kirk, look, we need it on camera because it is a big part of your life. And then I've done it. And I cried. She cried. And then she took me back. So I wanted to settle down and have kids, and I don't think Lauren did. So I thought, if two people want, in a relationship want separate things, there's no point leading each other on. So I ended it. She hated me, which she should have, to be honest, because I moved her in my house. Then the whole pregnancy thing come out on, on TOWIE, which I was sort of happy, because then that's what I wanted originally. That's why I split up with her. But we're friends and that now, and I just do, I feel bad. Every time anyone ever mentions me and Lauren breaking up, I just, I, that's, I'd feel bad if someone broke up with me on TV, but uh, a girl being broken up on TV is a bit humiliating, isn't it? You know, so uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I met Gemma Massey for a friend, and it, this sounds so crude and boyish, but it literally was to tick off a box. Oh, I've slept with a porn star, and, and it does sound bad saying it like that. But when we met up, I, I instantly fell in love with her. Like, just could not get enough of her, and, uh, and her sex was good, you know. But <laughs> and we were with each other for ages, you know, and it was going good. I actually still love her to this day, and it, it, was, I, it was me that messed her around. It killed me, do you know what I mean? I, I, still, I still try and ring her now. It's bad, isn't it? I ring her now, I love her, but it was me, it was me that was bad, but I just couldn't do it, because I do listen to what the public say, and I, I shouldn't, but, you know, when people are tweeting your pictures, oh, I was watching your girlfriend last night, it's terrible, it's a terrible thing. Yeah, it's just, I wish, it sound, this sounds horrible as well, I wish we didn't met, because I hurt her so much, and now I know I'm never going to see her again, do you know what I mean, so, yeah, that's an emotional one. <laughs> me and Natasha Giggs, I met Natasha in Big Brother, and she is literally like a girl version of me, she's just brilliant, you, like, you could actually take her out of all your mates. You know, she'll get on with all the boys and, uh, and uh, we didn't really date, but we was like, we, we always going out with groups of mates and stuff, like, a weekly. Yeah, like, took her out for a couple of times. And I reckon if it wasn't the time that we come out of Big Brother and the time of her separation, it would, I, I would have liked to have tried to sit with Natasha Gig. She's a good girl, she gets bad stick. Do you know what I mean? Really bad stick and she doesn't deserve it. She's a good mum and, and, and that's what I liked about her, you know. Power to the single mums and that. You know, my mum brung up, brung up me and look, it's amazing.